Yo, 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 what it do, cousins? It's your boy, Benny Hunnitz. I'm with my girl, Salam, and my man, The Funk is Real. And today, we have got a special guest with us. My man, Samsonite, is in the building. Yo, what's up, everybody? You already know, it's your boy, Samsonite, straight out of Dallas, Texas. I'm 21 years old, and shit, I'm here for the culture. That's, yeah. that's what's up, man. Triple D, represent, right. man. I love I that know. shit, man. So, um, you know, I think... All of us, we were jamming out today, right? So we, yeah. we like, you got some heat, bro. I'm yeah, gonna be honest with you. That. Yeah, for sure. So I know everybody got some questions. You know, I, you know, definitely want to get at you and, and kind of learn more about you, and also get the public to know about you as well. You know All what I'm right, saying? Cool, let's do it. Yeah, let's absolutely, man. Uh, Al, you want to pop it off, man? Yeah, man. So first and foremost, what's good? Definitely let the people know a little bit about you. Tell them, you know, I know you said your age and you're, where you're from. Give them a little background. Let them know you Ethiopian, Eritrean. So Trans, yeah. So far, um, I was born in Dallas, Texas. I've actually never even been to Ethiopia like my whole life. I've born here and pretty much stayed in Dallas my whole life. But uh, my my dad is from Aksum and my mom is from Addis. And so uh, they both have a crazy story. But I ended up being born here. I'm the youngest of three siblings. Uh, you know, y'all know my older brother and sister. And then uh, so, yeah, just going through school, you know, my parents always pushed me to be like, one of those typical jobs be a doctor lawyer engineer right. but i mean after like fucking around high school when i realized i wasn't gonna make it as like my other typical dream like as being like a professional basketball player uh, i just found my passion for music and um, ever since then i was like fuck it let's i gotta make this happen so i'd rather work for myself and like pursue entrepreneurship with being by being a musician than working a nine to five right on right on and like slaving in that corporate world so <clears throat> i decided i gotta do it yeah. i have a team of like focused people around me so yeah. i made an album and we put it out and then i'm just trying to follow it up with some more great music and just put out content that impacts people positively that's what's up that's what's up i actually want to ask you a personal question because we, y'all we've been in the studio like prepping and just you know kind of pre-turning up and his music is just blowing my mind <laughs> like yo yeah like at first i was like all right we're gonna see his beat was cool and then when you hear the, the voice of the artist that's when you're like whoa like that's what makes an artist an artist you know yeah but um so where did you where do you first of all my first question is where do you record like your music i literally record in my house like are you like Did y'all that, hear that? That whole album was recorded in my parents' house. You record? Do you know? Wow. So yeah, do you have, yeah. like, foam, like, inside your, like... Uh, I have, like, this little foam thing that surrounds the back of my mic. Uh, I record on FL10, Fruity Loose. Uh, yeah. I mean... Me and my homie did the mixing for the whole project. Mm -hmm. Like my homie Lorraine, shout out Lorraine, but um, he's on that's the album dope. too. That's and dope. he actually released his own too. So like we got a whole camp. At, we, uh, our collective we go by the name of Elevated, but but yeah, we just record in our own home. Like we moved in together now, so we have like a our, a house full of creatives. Wow! And so now we just have yeah. our own space. Like we have our own studio and like this extra dining room, and we just record there. So how, so how's that set up? It sounds sounds like it's a bunch of bachelors in there. Yeah. No, actually, not really. I'm the only single one. For Both real? of my homies are cubs. Oh, oh man. So, wow. Hey, no action going on. <laughs> no, we actually just had a part, well, a video shoot in a party the other day, but I mean, it's pretty dope. We like, so you walk in the house, we, and then there's an extra dining room on the left side, and there's a, a, a complete studio. We have like uh, two studio monitors, uh, and then like two actual monitors for like editing and stuff, the microphone, some keyboards, a beat machine. Oh, and, they got the whole setup. Yeah. And then just that like actual house. So, so is that why I your can, music's good? You, you you record from the comfort of your own home, <laughs> Exactly. Bro. And now I can smoke weed at my house because yeah. I moved out of my parents. So yeah. I can just get can high and like work element, on music. You know, you so, can yeah, tell. Sure. Yeah. How long, like when did you actually start, uh, you know, creating music for yourself? Um... Well, I'm 21 now, and I put out my first project, like, my sophomore year in high school. I made, like, this little mixtape. Uh, so probably, like, when I was, like, 16 is when I like, actually started recording music and, like, making songs. But I've always been passionate about music. Like, my passion for music actually stemmed from dancing. Like, okay. like as a little kid, I used to dance at all the parties, like, all the hobby shop parties. My parents would make me, like, go in yeah. the middle and dance and shit. Oh, so you cold? You can discuss that? 
<laughs> I know. I'm talking about like I used to break dance. And a shit. break dance. Yeah, like a what? Okay, like Demetrius. I used what? to want to be like the Jabberwock. Like I, you got served, but I used to like I used oh to study that gosh. movie and like know all the routines. Who did you study? So, like Omarion or the, the whole f- thing? The like first. I used to know the routines for all the dances in that movie. Hold on, so you can you do that, that shit right now? No, I'm talking about when I was like uh, nine, ten damn, years old. We so that's where on, that's when I nobody had a crown like that. Yeah. Can you? Hell yeah, I crop my ass off. Hey, I used to be into that shit. We'll battle after after we do this. We'll oh, battle for the cameras. Up. We might have to. Yeah, I'll serve but, your ass. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. all right. That's a, okay. We gonna I'm gonna keep. You it's know, a challenge. We're gonna have to do it. Challenge. We're gonna have to do it. But yeah, that's when I like really got into music. I used to always like love music when it came to dancing, and then and then as I grew older, I matured and it it evolved into like rapping and singing. So. Yeah, so Pac started, right? You know how he started? Wasn't he a bit dancing on like Living Color and like uh, he was a bad uh, not Living Color. He was dancing, for, uh, not dancing, but he was touring with Digital Underground and he was doing like background. But he was dancing though, right? Yeah, Tupac. Not more, not more so choreographed. It's more so like hype. You know, you just got your boys in the back and they're just doing the legs. Oh, that's what you're doing. Just doing dance moves and he just ran with the crew. Oh, okay. pretty much. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. Wait, who are, you, who are you talking about? Tupac. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I was lost. <laughs> you know, yeah. speaking of old rappers and stuff, who 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 are some of your influences? Um, well, my personal favorite is probably J Cole. Like, and he's oh. not even that; he's a current rapper. But like, I feel like his like his music low key raised me. Yeah. I used to Rap listen to mind. that shit like junior high, high school, going through like my adolescent yeah. years. But J Cole is probably my personal favorite. But um, my influences. Um, shit. Um, Isaiah Rashad, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Logic. Um, I knew you were going to say Logic. People, I knew it. <laughs> like Nas, Biggie, uh, Andre 3000 for show, Pharrell. Like, people like that. I like melodic music. Yeah. Like, I like rap. So, There's a time and place for everything, so I like turn up shit too. But, yeah. but I think like my greatest strength is like mel- melodies and stuff. So, like 50 Cent. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I see it too with your music. You know, I listen to your album and I definitely got that feel of more of a melodic feeling exactly. more so, so than art, just yeah. a lot of what you hear now where it sounds a lot of the similar. It's more, you know, nothing against it, but it's more like trap and mm-hmm. just more so something to dance to, not something more so to vibe out to or kind of just sit back and listen and enjoy. Exactly. Like, I, like my music is almost like intended for like that late night drive type yeah. shit really, like listening to the words you know what I'm saying smoke a sweet yeah you already know yeah got a hot box the hoopty oh god don't get your ass pulled over yeah. and that hoopty <laughs> hey see I ain't gotta do that no down, more cause so. I got my own crib now <laughs> exactly so. man damn now That's I can bad. just smoke and create dude That'd you be know way better how much better is it not cause I mean I just got my own crib a few months ago too so I'm enjoying the feeling of just being able to smoke in the house it's yes. liberating yes. <laughs> like what, what was the first thing cause I'll tell you how I first smoked but you gotta let me know like how did you bless your house first how did we honestly like it wasn't extravagant or nothing. Man. Like we just moved our shit in and just like kind of went straight Slept to work. Slept on the floor the first like, couple nights. <laughs> no, I moved my bed in the first day. So oh, like, he wasn't playing. Huh? Yeah, for sure. I got I got an upgrade. I went from a twin size to a nice queen okay, size. Okay. Hey, yeah. got my own room now, so I got my own space. But we didn't do nothing extravagant. We kind of just got comfortable, started getting to work, like creating and focusing mm-hmm. on actual work. But um, I mean. Shit. What was the question again? <laughs> nah, it. I'm, a, I'm a little high. Nah, a little? <laughs> a wee bit. <laughs> no, nah, man. But um, now, as far as other Abisha artists or other artists in general, do you have, well, actually, more so, like, is there any other Abishas that, that you aspire to work with? Anybody that you would think you would want to work with in the future? The uh, weekend. Yeah? The weekend, for sure. I feel you, man. I'm trying to get to that level. Like, attainable. I feel that, bro. Uh, as far as, like, there's a lot of people out there. And, um, you know, it's funny because there's, like, a resurgence. I think it's finally coming with our generation, uh, mm-hmm. even more so, like, the ones a little bit, like, a little bit younger than us, right, uh, who finally are getting the balls to just do the art, do the things that exactly. they love. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like, that is a beautiful thing, and we're finally getting to that point. And not only that, there's a lot of us who have reached 
you know the pinnacle right, right. so it's like showing us that you know mm-hmm. it's possible you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and like in music you know we have people that we've been promoting uh obviously uh like Maylot, uh you know yourself obviously today but you know like you said the weekend um right. th- there's a lot of people that are out there is there any other artists that y'all like know of or you know what i'm saying oh, yeah shout out to uh, ruth b um She's doing her thing. She got a lot of soul singing. So it's coming from a hobby shot girl. It's beautiful. She looks just like me and you. So like it's both pretty us. dope. Both of us together. Right. <laughs> Someone did tell me that actually on Twitter. Where's she from? I have no idea. I check her bio. but Could be your cousin. <laughs> she probably is my cousin. Shout out, girl. We are cousins, man. <laughs> yeah. What, her debut song was Peter Pan. A lot of you guys are familiar with that. It was on the radio for like, it was a hit. Oh yeah, I've heard that. I've heard Ruth B. It's before, soul, soul music, yeah. I have to listen to it. And song. then you got what Eminem. I really like. I'm very. We all proud of Eminem. He's doing his little project. If you want the real like African way of saying it, is I mean it. But like people just you know Americans, white people always say whatever they want. So it's just like this. <laughs> He's featuring I mean a. I mean a, yeah. I mean a. I was like Eminem. Y'all, I can't. I, was, I, was, I, was, I cannot African. say his name. <laughs> my name is my name. <laughs> You know what it is? It's because I've trained my brain because I've read it. You know what I'm saying? You've read it? I've read it so many times, like billboards, uh, you know, social media, and I read read it like that in my head. And so I, exactly. Just reading it wrong the whole time. You have to get me smacking. Anyways, no, but um, yeah, he's debuting on um, Insecure, like the next season is coming out. For those, You are fake news. For those of y'all that watch Insecure, he's doing big things with Issa Rae, and he's doing other projects. I follow him on Instagram, and I'm like always looking at his Instagram. So. I don't know, he's going to be on the show? Yeah. Check out his Instagram. Yeah. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? As a... Yeah. He's a cool ass dude too. Yeah. Like you I met him, you met him, right? You just told me that before we recorded. How was yeah, that? Yeah, so uh I was in Chicago uh during the weekend of Lala Palooza. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just out there like with my family. My I was visiting my ne- my cousin up there, but uh we went to an after show like after uh um it was a after party show for Lala Palooza. It wasn't an official show. Mm-hmm. But there was a bunch of people there, Mine, Vic Mensa, um to- uh Tokyo, um, like a bunch of other people but after the show we just kind of stood outside like we were lounging around because my little cousin wanted to meet him so yeah. and that was her intentions like to meet him so like at first we had to like maneuver our way around security and we were like where the tour buses are and we saw jadena he, he performed at the show too but and then like the security kind of like kicked us out of there so we were kind of bummed out we figured that we weren't going to meet anyone and we we're getting ready to leave and the next thing you know amine walks out the front door of the venue like where everyone else walked out we're like, oh shit, that's Amine. <laughs> and then, so we just walked up to him and we asked, for, we just started chopping it up with him. He's like super cool. Uh, his homies are cool too. Yeah. They're all Abisha, but um, yeah. So he took pictures with us and he actually gave us th- uh, some exclusive posters that were on his album cover. Yeah. Have you seen this cover? No, he's like, oh, t- yeah, yeah, he's like was, taking the shit yeah, and yeah, reading yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he, he gave us that's those, uh, put that shit he was reading. Oh, that's what's up. But yeah, he he's super cool. He's bro. authentic. Yeah. That's what I like about him. He hasn't changed a bit. So yeah, did y'all hear about that? How he's, they're selling that Honda from that music video? She's a bad thing. Yeah, oh, they're yeah, selling yeah. that Honda for like twenty thousand. They had an accent on it or something like that on Twitter. Okay, funny. twenty thousand. Twenty? No, it was. I think it was twenty thousand. I'm not sure. Don't quote hey, me. That song was a, it was like a funny. Song was a, yeah, shit. real talk, bro. That's like the song that was song was a hit for how long? I mean, yeah, if, like if you put it on the radio, you probably still hear it every now and again. Actually, yeah, I still hear it yeah, on the radio. I still hear it too. That beat, man, it makes you so happy. Like, <laughs> yo, that's yo, summer. That's... Real, real talk, though, because I think that there has to be, you know, obviously we have a lot of listeners and a lot of young listeners. Mm. You're going to be an influence to them, right? Mm. And especially the fact that you, again, had the, you know, gravitas the balls to be like yo i'm gonna do this you know what i'm saying what was that like for you in, in regards to how like your not your yeah your relationship with your parents or you know anything because you know we're told we're given a very linear prescribed path and when you mm-hmm. deviate from that sometimes you can get issues you know what i'm saying how, how, how was that for you was there anything that you had to deal with or you know any- well, I mean, there was definitely some backlash, like, when I, like, laid it down to my parents and, like, told them, like, f- like this is what I actually want to do. Yeah. But I feel like my whole life, like, for as far as I, as far as far back as I can remember, like, even though my parents always instilled the thought of, like, trying, like, you need to be a doctor or something like that when you grow up. Like, I never saw myself doing that. Mm-hmm. For me, at first, it was, like, becoming a professional athlete or becoming a professional dancer, like, some type of, like, some type of entertainer. Um, so... 
um, like around the time when I realized I have the talent to actually monetize it and make it a career, mm -hmm. I feel like, I mean, at the end, well, like when you're on your deathbed, you're not, I'm not trying to be hey. like, I'm not trying to be like, what if? Hey, yeah. You yeah. Right. yeah. I just like spent 40 years working a corporate job being like, damn, I could have, I could have mm -hmm. like did this, I could have did that. So I'd rather just go against the grain right now and just like, do what I feel like I need to do, follow my heart and my gut. And then at the end, if it doesn't work out, I mean, ain't no if, trying. bro. Yeah. I've been, yeah. bro, that, that shit we, we was playing today. Exactly. And you just getting started. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. I'm just yeah. like, started, ain't no if, man. Yeah. Like, real talk, bro. It's it's really, you really on to something, man. And <laughs> I like that. what I was hearing, man. So I looked sure. at him dead in the eye. I was like, bro, it's good. <laughs> he looked at me like, thank you. I was like, yeah, I appreciate so, that. so when you, when you kind of told your parents what you're going to do, this is what you want to do, did, well, I know we talked about this earlier. What was their reaction when, when they first saw you smoking weed in your video? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's like the, the only thing they fixated on, they didn't even like listen to the song. As soon as they saw the visual, they're like, like, <laughs> but yeah, they, they got in my ass. Uh, I mean, well, it's like, they tell me not to do it. And I honestly probably shouldn't just because, uh, like if I keep cut that shit out, I could probably expand my audience and be more marketable. But I was just, we were just being natural and just capturing the moment. So, I can't go back and delete footage, so I just like laid it out to him like this is what I'm doing, yeah. and like it's dope music though. So they're they gonna always, judge they, the music at the end of the day. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. I mean, but like they always bring it up to me even now. Like when I tell them, like they'll ask me what I'm doing. I be like, I got into new video shoot and stuff. Even my dad, like the other day, was like, "Hey, don't be smoking in your video." Be smoking <laughs> your video. But, well, how do they feel about you just doing it in general? Um, I mean, it got to at first, like for like the first two three years. They're always like, they're kind of doubting it, you know, like saying you need to go to school, you need to finish school. Cause I went, after I graduated high school, uh, I went to community college and then I went there for a year. I realized it wasn't for me. And like, honestly, I can get straight A's if I wanted to in school, but I did not apply myself because that's not what I was interested in. Right. So when I figured that and I kind of just stopped showing up to class and like laid it down for my parents. Like, of course, they were, like, had backlash and tell me I was doing the wrong things and stuff. But I think, like, they actually start to see, like, like the feedback I get from other people. And then and then they see how confident I am in myself. So it kind of instills some confidence in them or confidence in them. And, like, so now instead of being, like, oh, you need to uh, quit rapping and go back to school, they're more, like, Oh, when you make it and you become a millionaire, you're gonna do all this stuff for me. So that's how the conversations change. Like they believe in me now because I've just believed in myself relentlessly. Did you ever show them like other Habasha artists? Like, hey, mom, look at look at Weekend, look at Amine, and be like, hey, this could be your life. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just I try to. <laughs> you gotta sell the drink. You gotta sell it. I mean, what's that? This Marchetes, Marchetes. I just tell them like I just tell them we I tell them all the time like when I make it you're gonna get this and this but selling dreams yeah man you got to know, but it's gonna it's gonna come into reality Hell yeah hey bless bless up man I gotta I gotta ask you with uh, all these rappers in the game this is a fun little game I thought of just randomly so I'm gonna name five rappers you gotta kill four and keep one kill four damn, damn. that's crucial yeah you gotta yeah, body some niggas right <laughs> So, so you get to keep. <laughs> so let's we'll just start naming these, you know, big rappers now. Let's see who's around: Kendrick, J Cole. Oh fuck! Yeah, you gotta kill some niggas now. Um, <laughs> Drake. Drake. Who's another big one? Damn. I mean, that's kind of hard. These are my the idols, weekend. Right? You gonna make me kill all my idols? The weekend. Yeah, yeah that somebody gotta die. Who else you like? It's only one. Amine. I know. All of since we've been die. talking about him, these are the five. Gosh, okay. that's hard. Who dying? Well, no disrespect to Amine, but he's not in their tier yet. Damn. So sorry, cousin. He he's already out of the equation. All right, he gone. <laughs> Family. But I fuck with Amine heavy. I'm just saying. All right, P. Uh, Dude, what the? F the weekend. I'm sorry, hey, but bo both cousin. of the house shots gotta go. Just, the weekend gotta go simply because he his whispers. music is kind of. Uh, Whisper. 
no, like I have to be in a certain like vibe right. or feel to music. listen yes. to music. Like on cocaine. His music is amazing. We still love like cocaine. No, he's like, he's a, a musical genius. His no, music but, is amazing, hey, but I gotta be in that vibe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time. No, I get your point. I got you. <laughs> well, yeah. I want to be on it's cocaine and around a lot of white women when I hear the weekend. Oh, I would love to be the weekend. <laughs> Give me all you skinny model bitches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now that all the cousins okay, are dead. So, yeah, I'm sorry, cousins, but they gotta go. Uh, so, so now it's, it's so, straight. It's we straight. just had a look so. 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 So we done okay, so <laughs> so both of the cousins out the weekend of Mine. Dead. So now we got Drizzy, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. All right. Drake, Drake, you gotta go. Damn. Whoa, we got the kick. Drizzy. Good job, that's it. I'm doing great, you bitch. Say that again in my face. Now I suck my dick. I mean, I'm surprised. Honestly, the top. Honestly, like, with these last three, you can't go wrong. Nah, bro. But somebody you, got you it. already yeah. killed off Drizzy. You got two left, baby. One, right, one left. Why right. would you kill? And then Drizzy. No Drake. I'm, I'm gonna kill Drake simply in October. Because... It's his month. <laughs> yeah, it is October. Damn, yeah. that's different. Come November. on, at least, at least let him. November's his month too, though. It, right? No, October. It's today his birthday. On. Whatever. When's Come his birthday? Now. November nineteenth was I cool though. Idea. It's that was about something different. It's October. Yeah. Eighteenth. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, 18 it? there we go right. see I was close just killed a I nigga on his Drake. birthday listen nah, who was the last two it's Drake I mean no, it's uh, Kendrick, Kendrick and J. Cole now oh shit mind over soul and then, <laughs> or soul over mind <laughs> um see now I gotta go ah oh, shit just kill J. Cole <laughs> is, is it like just cause he likes me alright no I'm sorry I gotta I got, unfortunately I gotta kill Kendrick no nigga no, no, no! Got to kill Kendrick. I keeping Honestly, J. Cole. I thought that's how I was gonna go because J Cole was the person Damn. he named earlier. Don't kill. Like him. when he said yeah. anybody, he said J Cole earlier. So it I doesn't figured, matter though. And, and the we have personal why, opinions too. Yeah, exactly. We're and the man. reason why I feel like J Cole's voice is a little bit softer, so it's like it's easier to listen to at any time. Like. Kendrick sometimes like his vocals seem overpowering, mm. not overpowering. Like he goes hard as fuck, but f- like same as the same thing as I said for the <clears> weekend. Like sometimes I feel like I gotta be in a certain mood to listen to Kendrick, but so Kendrick Cole, Kendrick right. is one of the best of all time, no doubt. But yeah. but yeah, J Cole is simply just because I feel like it was the times that I listened to J Cole, like when I really right. first started getting into rap. J Cole is the person that I listened to, mm-hmm. so he's just my personal favorite. Not saying that he's better than any of the other rappers, but that, I like yeah, how I like my... how like you already media trained, bro. You yeah. ready for the politics and everything, dog? When they put you, <laughs> they put you in the game, you'd be like, yeah, see, you know what I'm saying. But the thing is, I appreciate all these motherfuckers, but you know, I really do though. Like, no, yeah. those are my idols. I like that though. That's a good point. I like how you asked him to play that game because when you hear his music, see, y'all need to check out his songs because. It's like vibe with me, but in like a cool, like collect way. And like, you yeah. know how you have that harmony, like in yeah, that exactly. voice. Yeah. Like, exactly. so it makes me kind of understand where, you know, how you're a big J. Cole fan. For sure. But, um, cause J. Cole does that. I do those ad libs. And you'd be like, let me replay that back. But, um. You like J. Cole too, right? All hop shot girls like J. Cole. You know what it is? He's so like, just so logical. We all like respect logic, you know. Like that's why. Man, y'all don't respect. I mean, so at all. It's so, really so, so Kendrick boys. can't get to everybody because we have cold hearts out here, fam. You feel me? Cold, ignorant hearts. But J Cole, logic. Everybody follows logic, you know. Okay, I hope I made a point. Anyways, next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I actually want to shout out me. because <laughs> you know uh, we're we're know. trying to do our best to continue to develop this this idea of. I was just going into art, you know what I'm saying? Going into really whatever the hell they want to go into. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, there's a lot of people that are already out there that people uh, in, like outside don't know that are Abisha. And another thing I found out is we have a lot of listeners and we find a lot of listeners or viewers who are not Abisha as well. Like mm-hmm. we're kind of starting to matriculate out. So I feel like, and, and obviously, again, I want all y'all to chime in if y'all can think of people, but I'm trying to shout out a bunch uh, the the 
Abish are artists or celebrities out there that people don't even know or may not know are Abisha. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. So, yeah, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. Uh, the Ariam sisters, um, they're like this uh, three girls, young girls. Um, shout out to you guys. And then there's this girl named Soli Tessima that was on, um, what's that one show? Raise Your Voice, whatever. Raise Your Hand. That whack show. The Voice. The, the voice. voice. I was like, Raise I said, Your Hand. Raise Your Hand. <laughs> As the logo. And she was oh, my man. <laughs> The voice. Yeah, Sully Tessima was on there. Shout out. She's from Australia. And uh, she did her thing on there. Uh, Willie, that guy Willie from uh, Black Eyed Peas. Willie, what, what's his name? Will I Am. Will I am. Yeah, we'll cut that off. Uh, Will, <laughs> Will, yo, Wait, you are so Will, Will I, I Am. am. Is Habesha? No, he's not Habesha, but he oh. goes on the show. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So he, like, he Willie, Will I Am, same difference. That was like somebody from 2005. But um, yeah, he was. I think, he you, was, I think you missed my point. I'm trying to shout out our people. You already talking about Will I Am. I was saying though, Shorty got chose. Uh, there you go. That's her See, I, I, I earned it. Oh, no. <laughs> that's her husband. <laughs> Which means she got chose on the she show, got, bro. On the no, show, like, like you know how the they press the button on the voice. Oh. Yeah. You gotta be more. But clear. it was kind of awkward though because he did it last minute. But girl, you did it, and then. um there's this New York bass singer named Aman Burhane. Um, but uh I didn't shout out to the NFL player, Nat Burhey. Word. Uh, Burhane's dope, man. Yeah. Plays for the Giants. Yeah. Check him out on iTunes. His music's actually pretty good. And Instagram. Burhane. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget about your cousin. I'm saying. Yeah. Kim, uh what's shout her name? Out. Uh Tiffany Haddish. Oh, hey, hey, your girl. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish. Oh yeah. She's like on tour right now. I think yeah, she's recording her like movie right now with Kevin Hart. So shout oh, out damn, to her, man. Big. She'd be on there yeah. really for Air Tree on the ground. We love you. Yeah. I'm out yeah. here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm hanging at my cousin's house. And we are make coffee. authentic. At a Chan coffee. Yeah. I'm about to drink that coffee. That Eritrean coffee. Straight up. Yeah. I'm a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, she be turning up, y'all. Like, yeah. she's one of the most she's entertaining to get back people. To roots. Shout out to uh, also Nipsey. Nipsey, oh, Nipsey, Nipsey, yeah. Nipsey Hustle. You know, talking about. Uh, shoot who else man and then there's there's people that you know oh oh, actually if we get a a little bit away from music Leah Cabetta obviously Marcus Samuels people know them Um, Ruth Nega she she just like hit the scene in a big way in the last year or so Uh, actress Um, and then I got there's there's I have some people that are kind of bubbling more you know that they they may not necessarily be at that pinnacle yet you know like uh, Ross Nebu uh, I know Simba Lives Long Uh, shoot who else did y'all mention it oh and the head of Motown did you know the head of Motown's is Abishai mm, oh for real yeah Ethiopia Optimaria <laughs> or, or it's Universal Publishing like she's all over she's like Let yeah check if you related bro yeah man Better. Ethiopia Optimaria <laughs> <in there>. alright <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, bro, we out here, man. That's the we thing. I, I say that to say because I, I know my my life story, which I'm not going to tell right now, it's a testament to the idea that your network is everything, you know? It's not all yeah. about, it's like, it's not what you know all the time, honestly. It's not even no. it's not even who you know, honestly. It's who knows you. And people people get, people mix that next step, bro. Because you can know as many people as you think you know, but how many people can will say that they know you? How many people vouch for you? You know, so how many people have you in their mind? You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So uh, if you're able to network, man, and do your thing, you you uh, you know, you never know, man, because we out here just within ourselves. We out here, we out here bro. You. Absolutely. Out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got uh, also what we were trying to do is uh, Q&As, right? We're doing that every, every, uh, every week and we got a lot of questions in this week. And so I want you to help us with that. All right, let's hit them. All right, cool. Um, so uh, now these questions get kind of interesting. Did too. Do Though they will get interesting because they're unfiltered. It's just people like hitting us up, sending us whatever they want to send us. So it's so demanding. Some of shots, man. Well, how how do you send these in these questions? Um, well, you, we're Just, supposed to be using the hashtag. The Boonah Time Podcast. Hashtag the Boonah Time okay. Podcast. But yeah, you know, or you could just DM the account. That seems to be people's uh, 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 method of People choice. just like to slide in the DMs. You know they what I'm saying? saying? They see what the damn thing, thing says. Hey. <laughs>
post hashtag the Blending That Time podcast. Niggas just be sliding the DM though. <laughs> just cause, just cause. Yeah. Habit. So um, this one actually is kind of deep, but why not, right? So uh, did how did you guys? It's really all of us uh, go through being called African around black people and being foreign to those same black people, and the whites just see you as being black with no real culture. So this is kind of a like layered question. Essentially, we don't fit in on any side. That's what that's what this person is asking. Black people don't see us as one of them. White people may see us as black, but they don't acknowledge the fact that we have this whole other Abisha culture. I kind of get the question. I don't know. Do y'all get the question first? I think we all do. We just have to think about it because it's... Yeah. it's well, that's deep. I man. think we should table that one because that's a, that's for that's a deep question that could turn into a long conversation. Yeah, so table. To the we just table that one. Well, that's yeah. e- we turn that into a topic, probably. Probably so. Yeah, that's yeah. E Monster oh, yeah, ninety one. So. By the way, good that was a good question. We Save. we may have to go a lot deeper in that. Say by the phone. Uh, well, this person asking. Uh, let's see here. That's deep too, man. Everybody's coming with like some really deep stuff, huh? What makes a woman? <laughs> yeah, All right. What's that one? What's that? You want that one? <laughs> yeah, I heard what makes a woman. Yeah. I got the answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Yene uh, Mar, uh, Y-E-N-E-M-A-A-R. She sent in on IG, of course. Uh, what makes a woman beautiful? You said you wanted it. I want that one. <laughs> But we got we gotta let the guests have that one first. Oh yeah, gotta there you go. That's true. Makes a woman beautiful. Yeah, yeah bro. Hey. Deep question, right? I know. Oh we man, did I think like her aura, like her energy, like yeah. I feel like it's the vibe. Like yeah. honestly, this is super cliche, but looks fade. Right. So to me, it's personality. Like if you have a strong, vibrant, beautiful personality, then yeah. you're attractive as fuck to me. Hell yeah, but it also helps to have a pretty face yeah, and, an, and a nice body. You know you crazy! I can't stand you. What? Mm. God, I had an ass. <laughs> hey, the ass. God, God, God I had an ass. That don't hurt. But, but, Man, but uh, he says it got to. You talking about it don't hurt? This is that's, that's quite a gap to fill right there. Yeah, it hurts or it doesn't. You like pain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, you want that ass then. I feel sad. like that's a, that's a trick question. <laughs> no, nah, man, I think what makes a woman beautiful, you know, more so what you said, a lot of the personality, a lot of where her head, her focus at, and more so where she wants to be. I think a woman with a lot of drive and a lot of ambition is very attractive. Uh, these are traits that some of these beautiful women tend to tend to lack sometimes unfortunately right. that they're so consumed in themselves that they they kind of real they kind of tend to not realize like you said that that beauty is going to fade but that internal uh beauty that really matters that's going to stick around for the ages or for the time being is something that a guy really wants True plus man. some good cat that's some good head. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That's really awesome. Yeah, that yeah good. you can't, you know, I can't get too serious without being too serious. <laughs> <laughs> he had to like kind of dip in and dip out. Like, so. Yeah, man. I mean, shoot, we can we can really all say this. <laughs> wow. And you got to have that. <laughs> okay. okay I, Cut. Fuck. Uh, so <laughs> we're coming in Friday for that. <laughs> So uh yeah man y'all. I mean I can I can continue to to rant on the same thing but yeah I mean obviously there's there's personality um really just from the opposite perspective personality you're having a bad personality just in case you you uh, ladies haven't caught on can be very ugly like I don't care how fine you are ugly yes. personality will dead that conversation very quickly so uh just from the other perspective it's not only good to have a great personality it's shitty to have a bad Bad personality, get it together. All right, cool. Hold on, hold yeah. on. we gotta ask Salam. So, what it make you go gay? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what it make you go gay? I like it'll make you go good. What? Um, what make you want to dip in that mud? Whatever. That I mean, no, I agree with what, what most of you guys are saying. It's just interesting though, because a lot of men that uh, uh, <clears throat> some of us, I'm not speaking for every woman out there, but a lot of men that we run into really don't even like, they kind of overlook our like drive and, you know, independency and stuff. Like there's a lot of men out there that don't really like acknowledge that. So I really appreciate you for, you know, bringing that up because intelligence is sexy. Okay. That's the sexiest thing. All right. 
Yeah. I'll say it again. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, no, that, that, that I will follow up on that. Like, yeah. It, it is, that's it is, what they're both kind of getting into. So it is. It and is I'm over here in my head, too. like, check mark, check mark. Why am I not married? <laughs> nah, girl, you good. So I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> laughing in my head. But yeah, for real. <laughs> for real, for real, man. It's about personality, intelligence. Yeah. Because yeah, I got it, you know. Yeah, girl with some, a woman with the drive. I'm not going to say a girl. A woman yeah, some with some drive. What's up? Some. Cl- Clippings, <laughs> yeah, man. She she went there. Did I shout shout out who that was? By the way, yeah, yeah, Neymar. All right, cool. um, my honey. Yeah. How honey about this that's is, what that means? What honey bunny? Cho- no, oh, yeah, mom. Yeah, 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 yeah Neymar. It's my honey bunny, chocolate. Mine's the chocolate. Anyway, uh, what is your favorite thing about being Abisha? Man, but the culture, <laughs> really, the culture, just the. I think more, more, more so the, just the way we embrace people, the way we're so welcoming and family oriented. Mm. I, you know, growing up in America and around different other people, you know, Americans and stuff, they have a completely different culture. Yeah. You know, it's not as inviting or as warm exactly. as Habesha's. You know, I got friends who are, you know, from all different backgrounds, races and cultures. And then when they come around a bunch of us Habesha's, they come into our household, they're, they're blown away. They're, they're shocked because they they never experienced such a such a feeling to where they can just go somewhere, be a guest, but feel as if they're at home. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's the greatest thing about being Habesha. Exactly. That's good. Get the nail on the head. Yeah. I, was gonna about, I was about to say, like, the sense of community and, like, the yeah. unity that we share amongst each other. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, man. I'm going to be bougie and close my, I mean, I don't know, because I'm the biggest thing I love about being Habesha. Like, when I look at pictures, even, like, staring at y'all sometimes, like, our skin, it's like, that's my favorite thing. Like, people, like, they're so, like, curious to what you are, especially living in America. Like, what are you, shorty? You mix, what you mix with, you Indian, <laughs> is, you, is you Dominican with the curly hair? But that's my favorite, like, you trick people. But Nah, but besides that, um, I think my favorite part about being Habesha is the fact that you you already got you always got somebody there for you you know mm. what I'm saying you're never alone like you know and, and like the love like is real especially with like the parents like most parents out here you know especially shout out to you guys working hard you know the diaspora this is all from you guys so um you know we wouldn't be here without them so they you know they gave up a lot for us so yeah. It's my favorite part of being Habesha. It's like that foreign, you know, no one will understand it about you, you know, succeeding and stuff. Nobody will understand that. Man, I, it's, I actually, what you said really for me, because I noticed how it has rubbed off on my American, like, friends, right? My my brothers, you know, the guys I, I grew up with, that communal aspect. I mean, honestly, that's how I even ended up in Ethiopia. I never even, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into that story, but literally my brother, Romha, shout out my man, Romy, uh, Romha, he literally just called his mom in Ethiopia and was like, hey, um, you know, Benny wants to come to Ethiopia. Can he come? And her her answer was literally, why are you even asking? This is his house. <laughs> Dead ass. You know what I'm saying? And I just landed in Ethiopia, no plans, no nothing. And that's just, it's so inviting, yeah. man. I'm your mother too. Yeah, I'm his mother too. And then now she's my mom. And, you know, shout out my that's brother Ahmad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So I, I love that. Um, let's see. There was some other. So proud to be happy. Shout That was a good Honestly, question. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. And the, so that was uh, Eliab underscore Barhanu. E L Y A B underscore B E. R H A N U Barhanu L Yab underscore Barhanu man that was a great question. Um, y'all want to do one more? I don't know. We got time. Yeah, yeah we got time Let's for one it. more. Shoot, do I don't one know about one last back. question. You one last question. One more. <laughs> one. Why not one end more. it with this? Why because not? this is one of your favorite topics, um, and we've already kind of got on this. But somebody continues to ask. Oh, this is actually a gentleman. Oh uh, the African goon. Spelled exactly That's how lit. you would think. The African goon. Good job, man. You got you got you got you a good one. Uh, his name, the African goon. Why do Habesha women's? I'm just reading how it's typed. Uh, why do Habesha women's think that Habesha men ain't shit? Nobody's. That's they, a great question. Huh? That's a great question. Yeah. Proceed. Damn. Looking at funk. I don't know. I thought you had answered. I mean, we, we can we can answer the question. Go ahead and guess. As, go ahead and guess. Talking to our sisters, from but my perspective. No. Uh, well, I mean, if you want to start, funk, honestly go. though, um, I love y'all. I'm trying to marry one of y'all. All right. I'm not. Okay. I love y'all. I come in peace today. I don't know how to say today. Nobody me a day. Zare. Zare. Lomanti. 
I come in peace. But the <laughs> only thing is, listen, let me tell you one thing real quick. For a Habesha guy, it's like, it seems like you almost have to be perfect. A lot of Habesha girls feel this way. I've had conversations like, you guys like want this like stellar virgin, like, I don't know. Like there's a lot of Habesha. You guys are just judgmental. Like a lot of Habesha guys are. I'm not saying this is my opinion. I'm just saying this is things that I've heard. Like, I don't know. I, I guess you guys, I don't know. There's some, <laughs> Vinny's over here thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Where does it come from? <laughs> yeah. No, but I think that's just, I don't know. I don't, there's a miss, there's a miss, there, there's a, there's definitely a gray area because yeah, there's like there's a lot of misunderstandings we have between each other because there's a lot of like love loss and marriage is lost. We gave them away to a lot of cultures, man. We gotta stick together, you know. But that's it. That's I mean that's the oh, I mean that's, was, you gave me a lot of answers. Like, no, not, don't get me wrong, but you know. <laughs> I hit the nail on, on most of them. That's your opinion, shit. I think we great. So, All right, what y'all gotta say about what I said? <laughs> Go. <laughs> man, I don't. My thing is, I feel like, like you said, you guys want us to be a perfect, your dream ideal guy, right? And we're not that guy. Honestly, there's no guy like that. Be. That's the biggest problem. You right. woman, you want something that doesn't exist. Perfect doesn't exist it in doesn't. any shape or form. Even when they make products. It doesn't even say it's 100 percent perfect. There's chances of defects, right? right? That's why we have recalls in the automotive industry, right? Absolutely. And that's why in relationship and dating, if that motherfucker ain't working out, there's recalls. You can go ahead and <laughs> so get to another one. So how come there's not that much hobbish relationships out here, anyways? Why? Like, why is it because rare? It's like, oh my god. We think we Mahalit all related. And Metal all. got married. What? Huh? But, you can't ask the question. Like, they were related. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I can relate to that. Like sometimes I'll like see a girl and I'll be like, damn, I want to talk to her, but I feel like I low key like know her somehow or I low key am related to her. About to be like Game of Thrones out here, dude. People about to start hooking up with their cousins and shit. (laughs) People just, I swear, I know know some people who were like, oh shit, I didn't know that was my cousin. This is in other towns though. Yeah. (laughs) So it's not as bad, you know? It's like your eighth cousin. Does that really count? (laughs) Eight cousin? I don't yeah. know. After six degrees or six things, I think it's like whatever. We're all in, we're all we're species, kind of related we're all at one that species, point. Who cares? But listen, um, <laughs> Benny, I want to hear what you have to say about what. Go. We talking about about why women think how much a minute? Yeah. I mean, why you think? Yeah. I, I think it's and it's the, it's what I get at all the time. I think one we fall victim to the broad brush that y'all constantly like to do, which is to say all Abisha men are the same. <sighs> One, y'all hear that, ladies? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, two, uh, it, and it kind of taps into what uh, you know Funk said. Like when you sit here and put up these ideals, which I can understand. I'm an idealist. My thing is, I'm not even like a. I'm not even going to say, hey, I'm, I'll never be perfect. My thing is, you and I got to be on the same page. If I'm striving for perfection, you got to be doing the same fucking thing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of gimme, but, you know, not a lot of, you know, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to improve myself. You know, like, you ain't perfect neither. If you like, I, I'm right. cool. I'll give Give me those expectations. I don't believe in expectations. Personally, I'm a standards type of guy. Expectations lead to disappointment. Standards, you either they're either above your standard or they're out of your life because you take them away. You just set a mm. standard. That's all you need, right? Mm-hmm. So as long as there's a standard there, you know, and both of you guys are making sure that you're going above that standard, you should be straight. But that's that's the issue for me. Nobody said no standards. Everybody just kind of like materialistic about every fucking thing. So yeah. I just. Yeah, it's just the world we live in. Yeah, yeah we man. all ain't shit. Huh? Exactly. We all I mean, because we all ain't shit. Exactly. <laughs> but there's this like emphasis that Habesh I men ain't shit. It's like this real bad slandering going on, and you know we kind of perpetuate it a little bit, but it's because it's funny too. But I mean, it is what it is. We all ain't shit. That's the thing. Exactly. We, God. <laughs> we all ain't shit. We need God. We need God. We need God. <laughs> yeah, man. But one thing that you did not, or I, I didn't ask you, or I didn't, uh, you didn't put out was your social media. I want people to know exactly how to get a hold of you. Um, you know, so your handle, it's the same across all social media, right? Yeah, so you can follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram at Samsonite underscore. And uh, that's spelled S-A-M-S-O-N-Y-T-E underscore. Where, where can they find your music? And uh, my music, uh, my debut album, The Muse, is available on all streaming platforms. You can get it on iTunes, Spotify. It's also on SoundCloud for free, YouTube. You can get anywhere. Just look up Samsonite the Muse and jam my shit. 
Word. Hey, it's fire thank too, you for by coming. And you hey. brought you brought something special. You brought a track for us that we're going to lead out with. If you wouldn't mind, man, you want to take us out, man, and uh, let us know what we're about to listen to. All right, so this song right here is called Unusual. It's the second track on my album. Uh, shout out Sequence. My homie Sequence in California produced it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm about to release a music video for it probably this upcoming week. And, hey. uh, yeah, man, this shit is fire, so check it out. That's it. All right, love. Nice. Right, guys. Suck Peace. it easy. Salam. Suck it easy. You know, suck it on the slow side. You come up with this shit in the mirror, bro. What's <laughs> 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 wrong? Was it? Hey, you man. like it? Uh, yeah. This is not the usual. Something come delusional. Cause my love for you is a movable. My love for you. Working on it since a fetus And now I know the game, I learned a sequence I know what I'm aiming for ain't probable But also no impossible, it's nothing like Adidas I'm trying to take in everything they teach us I've been meditating off the reefer Mama said, boy, quit smoking as of lately I've been talking, man, I'm feeling like a leafer If you got that day, roll it up If you got that drink, please pour it up And if you are with the aim, throw it up and hold it up Hold it up if you got that day, roll it up if you got that drink, please pull it up and if you are with the ink, throw it up and hold it up. God damn, yeah, I love we drop that. Back it up, yeah, please don't stop that. I got them like, please don't stop that. I got them like, please don't stop that. I love we drop that. Seen a lot of fakes and I'm everything but not that. I got them like, please don't stop that. I got them like, please don't stop that. I've been working on this shit and it is time to let them know. No. Know that I got what you can't get from the store You better take a chance for it Because I'm headed to the top It's too crowded down below Low, low I think I found a kid that's gonna open all the doors oh. This is not the usual Something I'm delusional Cause my love for you is